Hello children, now chapter 2, Input, Output and Memory Devices. We have discussed about input and what is output, right? In output device, we have discussed about monitor. Second output device is printer. Also printer. In printer, we have two types of printer, impact printer and non-impact printer printer okay in impact printer we, ha we have already discussed about what is impact printer now i'm going to discuss what is non-impact printer non-impact printer printer with no mechanical contact between the print head and the paper while printing okay there is no mechanical contact between the print head and the paper this is known as non-impact printer in non-impact printer we can see laser printer inkjet printer and thermal printer okay the very important difference between impact and non-impact printer is impact is much noiser than the non-impact printer impact printer will make more noise than the non-impact printer first is see thermal printer thermal printer is a noiseless printer and it is used in hospital in thermal printer you can see in the hospital next is laser printer it can be print many pages per minutes it, it can be print many pages okay per minutes and it produce it produce very high quality text and graphics the text is very it produces very good high quality text and graphics okay it prints very with very good quality okay you can see this laser print in offices and in your colleges also you can see this printer okay most most of the people will use laser printer only okay now next output device is plotter plotter the device that draw picture on the paper based on the commands from a computer these plotters are used to draw picture okay it is used to draw picture on the paper based on the commands from a computer okay plotter are more expensive than the printer it is more expensive than printer and a plotter is a computer hardware device which more like a much like a printer that is used for printing vector graphic it is same like a printer but it is expensive and it is used to draw a picture and it is used for printing a vector graphic application of plot plotters mean where we can use the plotters see here making maps to make a maps we use plotter deal detail of engineering structure and architectural drawing okay this the application of plotters plot plotter next output devices last output devices speaker speaker or device that convert analog audio signal into equivalent air vibration in order to make a audible sound means you everyone has seen the speaker right everyone has seen the speaker it uh, to listen a song or uh, to listen a sound audio audio right this speaker is used okay see output devices which we have discussed monitor monitor we have discussed right monitor is also known as visual display unit and printer in printer we have two types of printer impact printer and non-impact printer next is plotter plotters are used to draw picture on the paper okay engineers use this and architect use the plotters to print the vector graphics right speaker i said before only it is used to listen a audio okay this is about output device okay next next is memory device input over output next is memory device it's very important topic okay memory device let us see what is memory device memory device are used to store the data it is used to store the data memory are used to storage only it is used to store input we are sending the information memory is used to store and output device is to display before and i said right what is input it is used to send the information um, in memory we are storing like cpu and last is output output is is to used to display right memory are used to store the data computer memory can be divided into two types they are memory devices are divided into two types what are they primary memory and secondary memory primary memory in primary memory again it is divided into rom and ram rom and ram read 
rom stands for ro read only memory and ram stands for random access memory okay in rom we have p rom e p rom e e p rom okay and in ram we have s ram and d ram and secondary memory we have hard disk floppy disk dvd pen drive cd now let us discuss what is primary memory and what is secondary memory primary memory is also known as main memory this primary memory is known as main memory and it is directly connected to the cpu it is directly connected to cpu this primary memory and faster read write speed input and output is also very fast okay in primary memory it is the main memory and it is connected directly to the cpu it is it is inside the cpu ram and rom okay secondary memory in secondary memory it is not directly connected to the cpu good example is pen drive or cd you have, you have seen pen drive right pen drive is not directly connected to the computer that is you are correct connecting externally and cd also right so secondary memory is not directly connected to the cpu okay and the input output channels to retrieve the information it use input and output channels to receive the information and it takes more time to read and write but input and output is very uh, means it takes more time than the primary memory primary memory is very fast and store data permanently means it is used to store the data permanently means in pen drive in cds if you download any songs or video anything else you can and keep uh, permanently right like that it is stores the data permanently and it is cheaper than the primary memory it is cheaper than the primary memory and this is about what is memory and what is primary memory and secondary memory in next class we are going to discuss what is rom ram okay and types of rom and types of ram thank you